Hey Pisces, happy birthday to you guys. It is birthday season for Pisces. So you guys are up first for the monthly readings and uh, we're going to start right now. So spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for the monthly reading for Pisces. Now this reading could be for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Pisces reading for whatever re reason they're guided. Um, it's also um, for the entire month of March 2022, but it could resonate any day, week, month, year, any time anyone's guided to see it, as I feel all readings are for whenever we're guided. Okay, let's get into it. So Pisces for March, the whole month of March 2022, what do we need to know about this reading for Pisces or anyone else who's guided to watch the Pisces reading? What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Please allow us to connect with the people who need these readings the most. And please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. Pisces reading for March 2022 or for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided. All right, one more shuffle. All right, this is the Witch's Tarot, by the way. And we're going to use, I believe, the Green Witch Tarot to clarify. I, that could change when I go to clarify if I get called to a different deck. Anyway, so here we go. Pisces, March 2022 birthday season. What do we need to know here for Pisces, please? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Here we go. Ace of Wands reversed. That's really nice. What else do we need to know? Pisces monthly reading for anyone who's guided. What do we need to know about this Pisces reading for anyone who's guided? Okay. A Nine of Wands reversed. What else do we need to know? Pisces reading. Okay. We also have the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles reversed. What else? Okay, wow, beautiful. Give me a couple more. We got the um, two of pentacles reversed, but you have the ace of pentacles in the upright and the high priestess in the upright and a couple more cards here. We've got the page of swords reversed and we've got the three of swords and the fool. All right, let's take a peek here. Okay, so right off the bat, we have you here feeling really disappointed. Queen of Cups reversed and the Five of Cups. So you're feeling emotionally spent about something. I will tell you this, right off the bat, this two, I mean, this Ace of Wands came out. And I don't know why I want to call it the Two of Wands, but this new beginning's coming for you. See how something's got to transform here with the butterfly? It came out reversed. And for me, any ace that comes out reverse just means um, we got to figure out what we got to do to get it to come in. Or it's just a matter of time. Or it's about divine timing. Or something is holding it back. Something else has to happen first. Um, sometimes we might have a cycle that hasn't quite closed out yet. So we can't have the ace yet. And look right next to that ace of wands is the nine of wands. Look at this. Look at what the Nine of Wands is holding. It looks like just like the Ace of Wands in his hand, right? Or her hand. Um, again, I feel as though your Ace is going to come in when we get to the Ten of Wands. You have, you're still at a Nine here. And you're at a Nine of Pentacles as well. These are just about done. You're about done with these energies. They're both in reverse. I feel like it's just saying you're on the... See, when you're at a Ten, you're at a One, right? In numerology, a 10 is a 1. So I feel like these 9s are coming in in reverse to say you're just about there. I mean, in a, a in like almost like a minute, you're going to be at the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. But right now, you're at the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. But we're there, right? You're just about there. And the center of the reading has to do with this 9. I, I'm sorry, I said 9, but I mean Ace of Pentacles right there in the center, center of your reading. So this has to do, this new beginning has to do with your entire reading. So there's a gorgeous new beginning coming in for you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. It's going to be really, really amazing. The, diff the only problem here is we got to figure out what we got to do to get to it. You come into this reading really down in the dumps about something. Something looks like it got blocked. 
um, or stopped with the Knight of Wands here reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed. Something, communication, uh, this could be actual um, movement, something got blocked. Um, so you come into this, you're feeling down in the dumps, you're needing to make a decision about something and you're really weighing it back and forth and you're trying to contemplate on what to do and you're trying to tap into your intuition to make this decision because whatever's going on with this decision, um, you know, you're feeling down in the dumps, you feel like the wounded warrior, you've really been through something, you've lost your confidence about something for some reason here, I feel like you're going to get it back. But there's a decision that needs to be made here. Um, and when I look at this reading, I feel like with the Page of Swords reversed, I feel like you're just having a hard time getting clear on it. And that's why you're really weighing this decision back and forth. And you're trying to tap into your intuition here. And it could have something to do with taking a leap of faith on something. But you've got to be really careful because I feel like you've been through something already here with the Three of Swords. And you don't want to make any foolish mistakes. All right, so let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about the upcoming um, Pisces reading for the month of March 2022? What do we need to know about the month of March for 2022? It has to do with the Pisces monthly reading. It's for the entire month of March 2022 or whenever anyone is guided to it and it resonates it's for anyone with pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the pisces reading for whatever reason that they're guided pisces reading the entire month of march 2022 or whenever they're guided what do we need to know about this reading please send through the most important messages for the people who need them the most and please allow me to connect with as many people as possible one more shuffle and we're going to get started here pisces reading all right let's do it let's take a look at that ace of wands why is it in reverse here what do we need to know about the ace of wands in the reverse i can see by that butterfly on there there's something that's got to transform in order for you to have this ace tell me more about the ace of wands reversed what do we need to know about it there we go Eight of Chalices, you're going to have to walk away from something emotional in order to have the Ace of Wands. And this has been very emotional. We see it right there, right? And you've been kind of stuck in it. Eight of Wands reverse and uh, the Knight of Wands, instead of something being blocked, it could just be you being stuck. And Spirit's saying, when you walk away from this emotional thing that's held you back, um, and it had to do with this Three of Swords because it's at the bottom of your deck here. So it shows up here in the reverse at the bottom of your deck. They want you to heal from this. Whatever happened here, they want you to leave it behind so you can heal properly from it. All right. And that's when you're going to get um, to these new beginnings. That Ace of Pentacles sitting right smack dab in the middle of your reading. This entire reading is about spirit trying to push you towards a new beginning. I can see that already. Tell me about the Nine of Wands here reversed. What do we need to know about it? I mean, you might feel like you've lost your fight. When I see the Nine of Wands reversed and the Nine of Pentacles reversed, can we have them both together? Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles reversed. I feel like this is somebody who feels like they just can't defend themselves anymore. Like they've been through enough. Seven of Pentacles. I have put in the effort. I've worked long and hard. And I'm waiting to see the results. And I've had enough of this, you know doing the work and and seeing no results and i want the results and you really you have you fought the good fight you've put in the effort and you're feeling um you're feeling like your all your efforts have gone in vain you know like where is the results of my efforts they are coming they are you just haven't seen them yet so it's it's getting very frustrating for you tell me about this two of pentacles reversed what do we need to know just one or two two of pentacles in the reverse Pisces reading for anyone who's guided. Why are the two of pentacles reversed here? Yeah, two of athems. Yeah, see how they're um, needing, uh, again, two of athems is all about someone who needs to make a decision. And look at what the decision is. The one person, they both got their daggers, like they've drawn a line in the sand and they both put their daggers into that wood and been like, these are my demands and that's my demands. This one has a scythe, a huge scythe in his hand. I feel like there's definitely a decision being made here. 
look at this two of pentacles and the two of swords what am i gonna do i need to make a decision and i know that i have to and two of swords is all about someone who's blindfolded and has to make a decision based on their intuition and that's exactly what i said when i saw that two of pentacles reverse and the high priestess over here that someone's trying to make a decision based on their intuition because we never know what's going to happen and we're not getting being given a handbook so Someone here needs to make an important decision and they want to, you know, they're really taking their time making it because they want to make sure they make the right decision. But the truth is, this has been a long time coming. Um, somebody here just feels like I got, you know, I'm done with waiting around and I want to do something about this. And instead of losing hope, I need to make a different decision here because somebody up here is, was starting to lose hope um, after putting in all this, this effort, right? Tell me more about the high priestess. What do we need to know? And this also, even if it was an effort you put in, you've been waiting a long time for something. There's something here that has been a long time coming. Tell me about the high priestess. What do we need to know about it? Queen of Cups again and harvest. Look at that. I love the harvest card in this deck. It shows abundance. Queen of Cups and Abundance. Harvest card in this deck is considered the um, Judgment card. But this Harvest card in this deck is more about abundance. And it has you here, Queen of Chalices. This abundance coming in. If you are not the Queen of Chalices, then it's another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio around you. All right. But whatever this is, this is like Phoenix rising from the ashes. I'm ready to receive. I've waited long enough, damn it. And I'm going to walk around. I'm going to walk away from anything that's been holding me back emotionally. And I'm going to walk into my abundance. Abundance here, abundance here. But it comes with you making some kind of conscious decision. Tell me about the Page of Swords reversed here. What do we need to know about the Page of Swords reversed? Four chalices. Wow. All right, so see how she sits here all bummed out and he's back there trying to come in to make her an offer or apologize. Somebody could have, they could have blocked you. They could have had harsh words to say to you. They could have lied and they want to come in and they want to make amends. So somebody here wants to make amends. This could be you wanting to make amends with someone else, them wanting to make amends with you, whatever it is. Somebody here would like to extend that olive branch but i don't know if the other person could be blocking them stopping them or just doesn't even realize they're there because of the uh, something that happened tell me about the three of swords let's find out what exactly happened three of swords what do we need to know about it okay four of swords so three of swords and they call them athams in this deck but four of athams says i'm healing so you're coming out of a time of healing here. You've had to you've had to go within. So because of this three of swords, you went within and took a time out with whatever this is, you, them, somebody. And you're getting ready now to go back into action with the um, full right next to it. Um, four of Athams in reverse, that's four swords in reverse, says I'm ready now to come out of the cocoon that I've built around myself and I'm ready to take an action. So says the fool. And the Empress says, I'm ready to take control back of my life. They call him the Horned God in this deck. Um, tell me about the Fool. What kind of action are you ready to take here? The Fool. Now, this could be you. This could be an Aries. Like I said, this also could be another water sign. Cap Capricorn. Why am I saying Capricorn? Maybe Capricorn. Cancer. <laughs> Pisces or Scorpio. All right. Also, um, Gemini's here. Um, I'm just telling you what's coming out the strongest as who this could be if it were not you. All right. Tell me about the fool. What do we need to know about the fool? Someone who's ready now after taking a break, taking a time out and healing to take an, an action. Tell me about the fool. Somebody ready to take a leap of faith. Somebody ready for a brand new beginning. The zero card is the first card of tarot. It is a brand, brand new beginning. The horned god well 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 that aries card was meant to be here this is both aries so you could be taking a leap of faith with an aries you could you could be you could have aries somewhere very strongly in your chart or you're just in this very strong energy of i'm ready to do what i need to do for me 
All right, give me a little bit more information on the fool and the horned god. What do we need to know about this? This is someone who is ready to take control. Well, well, well. Looky there. The Lord and the Lady reversed and the King of Cups. The King of Chalices is a Pisces masculine, right? Could be. Could be another water sign, like I said. You guys are either coming out as divine matches or these are just both because we had already used the Queen of Cups. So this King of Cups could be coming out again to represent you. But I feel like this is the two of you. Um, I feel like you have been in separation with the lovers here in the reverse. Um, and somebody, like I said, could have been blocking, stopping. You could have had a fight, not talking. Or something happened. Uh, somebody could have even lied. Somebody wants to come in and make amends for this lover's card reversed. So I feel as though the masculine is the one who's going to take some kind of action towards the feminine and bring her that harvest. Um, I think this has been something happened in this relationship and it's been a big old bummer right? But spirit says, once you leave these emotions behind all this emotional energy, if you'll detach from it or, um, leave it behind and go towards the new, let's stop dwelling on the old and start heading towards the new. It is when something will transform for you. Okay. Right now, this transformation is on hold. I feel because you've lost your confidence or they have, or you've lost your, um, it's, this is all like, I don't have the confidence anymore to do this anymore. Like I've already done so much and all I did was get kicked in the chops and I just can't do it anymore. And spirit says, no, what you need to leave behind is not your willpower and your confidence. What you need to leave behind is the emotional mumbo jumbo that keeps telling you that you can't do this anymore. Spirit says it's been a long time coming. You've put in a lot of effort. Don't give up. I don't know what this is. So for some of you, it is going to be love. For others of you, it could be something else, right? But it's a conscious decision that, that you need to make. Now, this doesn't mean it has to be with the same person, okay? So if somebody really did you dirty, yada, yada, and you don't want that person back, that's fine. But they're saying that doesn't, that doesn't mean we want you to shrivel up and die. We want you to finish healing. And we want you to get ready for, you know, harvest in your life again. We want you, you know, to see and imagine and uh, work with spirit on calling in your harvest. What is your harvest? Is it the king of cups or is it the queen of cups? Is this, is it an emperor? Because this king of cups comes through as an emperor, right? He comes in as an Aries slash divine partner. He's coming through as king of cups in the same suit as you come out in twice here as queen of cups right so no matter what this is now he, you i could be talking to you as a pisces man right so whatever works here i don't know if i'm talking I'm, I'm talking to the feminine right at the moment but the truth is if i'm talking to the masculine same exact story is your wish fulfillment this queen of cups and what are you going to do about it right are you going to continue to you know block or stop or not pay attention or are you going to do something about it or is this person coming back in to say i'm sorry for something they did i mean when i look at this it looks like the queen of cups who was hurt look at it she's drained she's exhausted we come into this reading knowing she has to leave something very emotional behind and allow new energy in because this old energy has really you know stripped her of her um confidence and her strength and all this stuff and she's done so much work and spirits going oh no you've put in all this time and all this effort and you've done all this self-work and you've grown in leaps and bounds and we have harvest for you you are not giving up right now and that's the way this feels but spirit cannot stop you they have to let you make your own decisions now what are you going to do are you going to curl up in a ball and die or are you going to fight for harvest doesn't have to be with the same person, but it's going to be with your divine partner. In other words, if somebody did you dirty, they probably were not your divine partner. But you don't know that yet because you didn't get your butt up and finish the healing yet long enough to allow someone like an emperor to come in 
who's not this person might be an Aries Emperor but they match you they are your divine partner whether you know them yet or not doesn't really matter I don't think this is going to be someone who did you dirty. Yeah, you could have had a fight with this person. I mean, all couples fight or have arguments or have some kind of disagreements every now and then. And instead of dwelling on it, Spirit says, if this person's your divine partner, if they truly are your divine partner and they've never done something so dirty to you that you have a right to walk away from them, um... If they did, then please do walk because somebody, Spirit's trying to send you somebody amazing. If you are this Queen of Cups who's trying to heal from something, there is an Emperor here. He is a divine match, a divine partner through and through. He comes out as the Emperor in the Upright, the Fool in the Upright, which is also an Emperor card, and the King of Cups. Upright, upright, upright. Coming out right underneath you as the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, and the harvest upright 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 these are all saying i don't care if you're the masculine or the feminine or the feminine or the masculine the decision is very very simple it's not as complicated as you think whoever this is whether it be a new person you need to open the door for after being hurt or whether it be the same person who really didn't do you ugly but you had an argument with or a fight with or you're just not talking with spirit says stop it because <laughs> this is your partner okay all right ace of pentacles is at the bottom in the reverse this new beginning is what we're striving for and remember what we said here you get that new beginning when you leave those emotions that you're so buried in behind. Same thing goes with this one. You get this Ace of Pentacles that sits at the... This is this card only has... It's, it's not a given. You don't get this. You only get this because it has to do with the entire reading. So, in other words, it's the center card saying this whole reading is about a new beginning. A beautiful new beginning with this gorgeous emperor or this beautiful... Queen of Cups, you are each other's divine match, no matter how we slice this, no matter how we look at it. Either you know them or you don't know them, but either way, you got to get up and get your confidence back and get back out there and finish up this healing and get back out the door, put on your makeup, put on your, you know, um, your, get a shower, condition your hair, color it. I don't know. What do you guys do? What do guys do? Shave, um get handsome i don't know put on your cologne buy a new outfit i don't care whatever it is that you all do get out there and go do stuff meet people um join a groups a meetup group do something go out with friends anything to get back out there again and let someone back in spirit says we are not going to let you shrivel up and die because of this because of this disappointment it's just not allowed and this reading you know, now listen, I'm not talking about those of you who somebody, you know, abused you terribly and put you in a third party or any of that crap. If somebody did that to you, yes, of course, by all means, cut their asses out of your life and focus on Mr. Right, who's trying to come in. But you still got either way, the message is the same. Whether it's somebody who you just had a little bit of a fight with or you're just not talking to or, you know, you guys had some kind of a tiff spirit says this person is your person so knock it off um or they have to knock it off whichever one of you is you know carrying it on and spirit says get out of this funk no matter what it was because no matter what it was and if it was somebody who did you terribly dirty which i don't see anywhere in your reading um yes i do see whatever they did hurt you and you're healing from it so they could have lied they could have done something stupid and um by all means if this is somebody that's got to go with the scythe make up your mind if you're cutting them out and letting someone new in this is the thing you're having the hardest part with am i cutting this person out and letting someone new in or am i letting this person back in and spirit says either way you've got to get out of the funk the funk the funk the funk we got to leave it behind and we got to get our confidence back up once that's done you get the new beginning so I hope this makes sense to someone. I'm going to grab you a couple of angel cards. Um, very, very straightforward reading. Very straightforward. It's just as simple as Spirit wants you to get work on yourself as in getting out of the emotions, 
finishing up the healing and getting your confidence back. Whatever it takes to do that. There's all kinds of help on YouTube for that kind of stuff. Raise your vibration, whatever it is. And Spirit says they don't want you to miss out. There is a divine partner right in front of you. I don't know if you know them yet or not. But you are they don't want you to miss out on them. They are your person. All right, angels, what do we need to know here? Beauty. What else from the bottom? Oh, God, that's a lot. Um, peace and transformation. Allow the transformation. That's what we just talked about. And this is a card of wanting the peace back in your life. Taking that break, that time out. And Spirit says, get that peace back in your life from whatever happened here. There is something that happened here. You guys had a fight. Somebody got, you know, their feelings hurt. Something mm -hmm. happened. Spirit says, there's beauty in this. You just are going to have to let the transformation happen. Can I have one more? So uh, the whole message here really is to let the transformation happen. Yeah, could have been a karmic education. It didn't feel very karmic-y, but there is something to be learned in this situation. I don't know what it is. This didn't feel like a horrible karmic situation like a lot of the readings do. This does feel like someone who got hurt, but somebody desperately wants to say they're sorry or apologize or come back in. But you don't have to let them back in. Either way, there's a divine match for you, whether it's that person or someone else. All right, guys, I hope this makes sense. And I hope that you will like the video. It helps the channel so much more than you guys really even realize just to take that second to like it. And do comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys, okay? I'd love to exchange energy. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day or a great week. I'm sorry. Bye-bye.